What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and today we finally got the Mini back out at Autocross. This was supposed to be my ride the whole year out at Autocross and I have literally only made one event prior to this. So we're finally going to get it out, get it off the trailer. Um, we've got our Autocross wheels and tires on this thing and hopefully go out and do some decent times. You know, I, I have no seat time <laughs> since we've only had the one event prior, but um, if you guys didn't know or haven't seen anything on this, this is the wife's uh, new 22 Mini Cooper SE, and if you didn't know, the SE is the all-electric Mini. Um, so, you know, she loves it. It's a blast on the street, and uh, like I said, the first event that I ran it in, I found that it does work really well out here. So we'll uh, throw the camera on in a couple different locations to hopefully make the autocross footage look a little less boring. And um, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully go quick. We've got two other cars in our G Street class, um, a Civic Si, a newer Civic Si, and then a Volkswagen GTI. So I'll try to show you guys those cars and uh, then we'll get out there and hopefully battle and see if the electric horsepower the electric torques can bring us home a first place we, we can only do third place if we do poorly so you know that's the worst that can happen all right guys so let's go go Guys, we've done two out of our five or six runs. We don't really know how many runs we're doing yet, but I, uh, the first one was a 57 second one that we, um, you know, cold tires spun out on. I even told myself before I took off that, hey, tires are cold, take it easy. And of course, the tail got out of control very quickly because I did not listen to myself. Um, second one, we lowered the tire pressure a little bit more in the rear and the car felt better. We ran a 50.0, I believe, but we also did hit a cone so every cone is two seconds out here in autocross so we've got to clean it up because we do have two other cars in our class out here in g street um, with the electric mini uh, we'll go quickly walk over and look at those two cars just so you can see um, what our competition at least in this class is today so guys also in g street we have a very clean looking Honda here, and he's actually a damn good driver. So we are going to be working the Mini, trying to uh, keep up with him. And then we also have a G Street uh, GTI in the class today. So I'll keep throwing you guys on the car kind of in different camera locations. So it's at least maybe kind of interesting to watch autocross footage. Um, and uh, we'll keep trying to improve our time and go faster and hopefully not hit any cones and completely ruin our runs. Okay.
right. Well guys, I know autocross footage is not the most interesting to watch or look at on video. So if you're still watching, thank you very much. But um, I do have the final results because we do have live timing here. Um, so for our class, G Street, um, obviously there was cars much, much quicker, but in G Street, I was able to do a 48.8 and without any other you know cars to look at obviously you have no clue if that's fast or slow but that red civic that we looked at in grid um, was able to do a 47.5 so naturally he would have beat us but he ended up getting a single cone call or hitting a cone on that run which like i said in autocross is a two second penalty so we were able to edge him by since he ended up with a 49. We had a 48.4. Um, so yeah, we ended up in first and we at least had some good fast competition in our G Street class. So I guess another interesting thing is where did the mini battery end up after um, not just five runs, but I ended up having a rerun because the first run there was a downed cone. So I ended up with six total runs. So it came off the trailer at 100% battery, and after the six runs, we ended up at 80% battery. So we killed 20% of battery running those six runs. Obviously, the car, you know, sees just massive usage. Um, the available range or miles is super, super low since it saw just really heavy usage. But again, the the screen on the dash is saying 80% as we pulled it back on the trailer. So 20% in our six runs. Now this was the last autocross of the season here for our Wichita region, but there is one more kind of cool special event that I'm going to try to get the mini to. It is enduro cross. So envision not just a single lap, but you have three laps typically, you know, back to back and it is that total time obviously cones count just like they do here so we will hopefully see if we can come out here in the mini and do enduro cross and have multiple laps with the electric power i can't remember offhand how many um you know runs you get or attempts you get but we'll see if we are worried at the end of the day about battery usage or or are we getting low enough that we are reducing power so i don't know guys we'll see but uh yeah guys if you're still watching like i said thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.